So we start with a quarter of a pound of butter. And we're going to melt that to saute some of the vegetables. While that's melting, I'm going to chop some parsley, some thyme, some Greek oregano, and some basil. I'm going to add some ground sage. This is a cup of celery that I chopped earlier and a cup of onions. And I'm just going to saute for a few minutes. When I buy meat, I always go to a place that has a butcher only because you get a much better, a fresher cut of meat. And I had the butcher slice the meat three quarters of the way through on the long side. I'm going to open this up because this is where we're going to stuff. You can tell the vegetables are cooking because they sizzle. This doesn't have to be cooked all the way through because it will cook more while it's in the um, oven roasting with the meat. We're going to add this to the to the dry mix. And when the stuffing is mixed and cooled enough to handle, you scoop it into this center pot. And pull the top piece over. And then we're going to tie it like a package so that it doesn't fall apart while it's roasting. This is cotton kitchen thread. Well, kitchen twine, I think it's called. And uh, Butcher shops use it to time roast, but if you're cooking anything that has stuffing in it, just slide it underneath. Tie it every couple of inches. This holds it together during the cooking process. You have a better presentation, and it keeps the flavors all inside the meat. I'm going to put it in this large roasting pan. I'm going to put about half a cup of um, the bottom of the roasting pan to keep it from sticking. And I'm going to pop it in a preheated 400 degree oven. I'm going to keep it at 400 for about 15 minutes. And during that time, I'm going to prepare dessert. And I have a standard pound cake that I have cut into cubes. We're going to put a layer of cake cubes in the bottom of the bowl. And trifle always looks really nice in a glass container. It can either be a small berry dish like this, or it can be a footed pedestal siphon ball. But you have the bottom layer covered. Now, if you want a non-alcoholic version, you can moisten this with fruit juice, but I'm going to add a little Irish whiskey. Then I'm going to spoon a layer of, this is a combination of fruit cocktail, fresh raspberries, and fresh blueberries. In the height of the summer, you can use all fresh fruit. I made a vanilla pudding. Um, you can use either vanilla pudding or um, 
In Ireland they use what's called bird's custard. It technically looks like vanilla pudding, but they call it a custard. And that is available usually at supermarkets. But a standard pudding will work just as well. And you put a thin layer of pudding over the fruit, about half of the pudding. So your layers still show. Then you put another layer of cake. I'm going to moisten that layer of cake with a little more whiskey. Put another layer of berries on it. Berries and fruit. This is a real fast, simple dessert. Great summertime dessert. Real easy to make. Looks fantastic and when it's all done, impresses everybody with your cooking skills. Things if you are having small children, you have to make sure you do the non-alcoholic one. And then spread a layer of pudding. And we can decorate it. With fresh berries. And then that just goes in the refrigerator until it's time to serve. Now as this cooks, the meat will brown the gravy in the bottom, but I'm going to add around the roast. I'm going to put potatoes. Some small onions. And I'm going to put just a little tiny bit of the water they were sitting in because they've probably got some of their vitamins, but not much. Okay, that's enough water in there. And one. And I'm going to pop this back in the oven for about 